Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I'm just going to show you how quickly and easily you can jailbreak a um, iPhone, iPod Touch, or uh, uh, original iPad using the latest version of Red Snow, which is version uh, 0.9.6, release candidate 14. Uh, it was just released last night. So I'm running it on Windows here. When you first load it up, you're going to need to browse until you find your IPSW file. Um, the latest version should be available in your iTunes folder. My computer's being a little bit slow at the moment, but you can see that it's in My Documents, Apple Computer, iTunes, or Application Data, Apple Computer, iTunes, iPod Software Updates. So go ahead and hit that. It's going to take a moment to process the firmware. And once that's done, you go ahead and hit Next. What it's doing at this point is basically taking the, uh, the default iPhone software and applying a couple of patches and, and changes using an exploit that was identified by the hackers. And then you have a couple of options here. You can install the Cydia Store, which is basically an app store for uh, apps that you won't find in the iPhone app store. Uh, you can allow boot animations, enable battery percentage, um, etc. This is an untethered option, uh, meaning you don't need to plug into a computer in order to reboot your device and keep your jailbreak. But if you wanted to, you could boot into a tethered mode right now, which would basically be a non-permanent jailbreak in case you had a problem with it. I'm going to go ahead and hit next with the default options. Now for this next part, you need to make sure that your device is plugged in and powered off. So we're going to go ahead and slide to turn off. And then comes the tricky part, because you have to follow some pretty precise instructions, um, and we're going to try and do that while, uh, while shooting a video. Uh, hold down the power button for two seconds. Without releasing, also hold down the home button for ten seconds. Without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for about fifteen seconds. And when that works, you should get a message saying that it is jailbreaking. Pretty sure it's safe to release at this point. And now not only on the computer, but also on the device, you should see some messages here explaining that it's um, doing some work. Now everything that's done on the computer is pretty much done. You can just go ahead and hit finish and watch as uh, things happen on the phone. And it's a pretty, pretty quick process. Now, if you have a carrier unlocked phone, um, meaning say you've got an AT&T phone that you're using, uh, iPhone that you're using on um, uh, T-Mobile or another network, you might not want to use the Red Snow tool. There's another tool called Snowbreeze that helps preserve your carrier unlock from previous jailbreaks. Um, but Snowbreeze basically does a lot of the same things as Red Snow, and it's also available as a free download at this point, and it works with iOS 4.3.2. And you can find links to both Snowbreeze and Red Snow at mobiputing.com. So there we go. We are jailbroken. And when we scroll, should see an icon for the Cydia App Store.
Looks like it's still doing some work. See here that we're running version 4.3.2. And we're rebooting after Cydia has prepared the file system. There's not a full reboot. And there we go. Still downloading packages, but basically we now have access to applications that Apple has not approved for the I, uh, iTunes iStore, uh, App Store, and um, you can go ahead and install those, you can customize your device and uh, make all sorts of different changes, including uh, Wi-Fi tethering with MyWi, even on a device that doesn't uh, support Apple's solution. Uh, you can change the behavior of the home screen, of multitasking, and so forth. This is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and a first look at how to jailbreak using Red Snow on uh, iOS 4.3.2. I'm not quite sure why some of these app icons are looking funny here, though. The App Store loads and Cydia loads, but the um, thumbnails are not looking so good. So I'll just reboot and see if I can get that uh, to clear up.